As fear and desire cuts to the general and captain, just as in Kingdom Hearts, we cut to Donald and Goofy at Disney Castle. Donald and Goofy are shown, just as the captain and general are shown, to not really be cut out for their jobs. They are actually the least likely people to complete the task at hand. And though Donald and Goofy, slowly, over time, become badasses in their own right, the captain and general are cut down in their prime, amazingly easily. They don't even try to move once the first shots are fired. And the only time the general does anything, at all, is when he crawls outside in order to surrender. These people are not cut out for the job they are in. And the fact that it's a direct reflection of Corby probably calls into question the amount of jackassery Corby put his men through when a simple decision one Mac would easily make could solve their problems without Corby's computations getting in the way. Now, by my computations, we... Your computations? With your brilliant figuring that got us in the first place. There's another thing, and that's that both of these royal figures, the General and King Mickey, own dogs, Pluto and Proteus. And both could also be said to be spies. You must never, never do that again, Proteus. Don't you know that there are evil spirits without bodies who roam the forests looking for unsuspecting dogs like you? And that when you open your jaws to disturb the moon, why, they leap into your mouth and possess you. Then you could become a spy, a murderer, or even a traitor. And that they are both privy to secret information. Though Pluto's information is revealed immediately, Proteus can do nothing to indicate what he knows before his master is killed. Oh, that reminds me. 